This was me just seven weeks ago. I told the line of my fifth marathon, the Chicago Marathon. And although it was undoubtedly the slowest and most painful race I've ever run, two things helped to pull me across the finish line, my family and my book launch. Yep, knowing that I'd get to spend a month and a half meeting all my followers on my book tour is what kept me putting one agonizing foot in front of the other. Over the past seven weeks, I've been to New York City, LA, Seattle, San Francisco, and of course, my hometown of Chicago, meeting hundreds of people, getting to do fun things like CBS Saturday Morning and Live with Kelly and Ryan, and eating all the foods. During that time, I did very little running. At first, it was because I was still recovering from the marathon, and then I injured myself and had to recover from that. And while I don't regret a second of it, I am ready to get back into running shape. So I've decided to take the next 30 days using the 80-20 plan from the Korean Vegan Meal Planner to get back to running the way I was this past summer. Not necessarily marathon ready, but ready to get marathon ready. And this is day one of my 30-day challenge. Alexa, what's the weather? You don't know. All right, so today I'm gonna to be wearing my Mach 3s. This is what I ran my marathon in. Yeah, you guys know that I love Hoka's, right? Oh, well, my ankle still feels a little something something, but it's been over six weeks since I injured it and I feel like it's strong enough I use a Garmin, Garmin 935. So I'm just gonna put it on run. And it already tells me my heart rate. And it look, GPS is ready. And lakefront path. It runs along Lake Michigan, which is right there. This path runs, I think 20 miles in total. It's one of the longest running paths, I think, in the United States. I have just finished two miles, super easy run. I actually paused in the middle to take some footage of the gorgeous Lake Michigan here. I'm not training for anything. I'm not even training for like a half marathon or anything. I just want to get back into running shape at the end of 30 days. So I can afford to do things like make it leisurely, walk a little, enjoy the view, pause for some pictures. If I were training for a race, I probably <laughs> wouldn't be doing that. But I think that's like really important, whether you're a beginner or a veteran runner, to look for opportunities throughout the year, throughout the season, to be able to take these more leisurely, like fun runs, because otherwise you'll end up burning out. Here's a little trick, guys, to make sure that you don't overdo it. Pour it over your spoon like this. There we go. Super healthy overnight pumpkin spice oats from the Korean Vegan Meal Planner. Can't wait to dig in. Check back in a minute. I'm about to make my dressing. What about the broccoli? Broccoli's already in here. So everyone who throws away the broccoli stem. Not only that, I use this <laughs> to shave off the rough edges. Why are you laughing? <laughs> 
<laughs> just because you're so proud. Yeah. Broccoli stem. <laughs> okay, red bell pepper, chickpeas, red onion, some honey crisp apple. And now Anthony is going to be making the dressing. That's right. I'm making All right, so a lot of people, when they cut a lemon, they cut it in half like this or they cut it in half like this. And what that ends up doing is wasting a lot of lemon. You typically only need like two really good squeezes of lemon juice. So what you actually do is you cut just the side right here, right? And that way you get to save this whole chunk of lemon and use only this for the squeeze. There you go. Look at all that juice that comes out. Nice. See, you don't need a full half of a lemon. Right, now give it a try, give it a taste. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Tastes better than you expected. Yeah, it's amazing when you, when you follow a recipe, it's typically zero to 60, man. Super exciting. All right. All right, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing white t-shirt underneath, along with my husband's sweatshirt. Those are my favorite kinds of sweatshirts. I get it from this place called My Husband's Closet. I find them to be the cheapest and most comfortable sweatshirts, hoodies available to me. So that is what I'm going to wear today, especially because husband is not here. He's working. <laughs> I'm gonna start my work day. That there is my cookbook. And this is my laptop. We're gonna go work in the dining room. This is Rudy's little bed area, which is where he spends most of the day. He's a little bit up and about today. Right, Rose? Come on, Rudy. His hubby is at the office. He works at Loyola University, which is a university here in Chicago. He's the director of music. I, on the other hand, work from home. So just to give you an idea of what my day looks like today, I don't have a lot of press today. I usually have lots of interviews, podcasts, and things lined up. I only have only two press items today. I have an interview today with Forbes in the afternoon and I am doing a short piece for Glamour Magazine. I'm just basically uh, doing a written interview. So they send me questions in writing and then I send my answers back in writing. Um, I have a meeting at 12.30 today to go over the potential of hiring a videographer full time to help with making recipe videos because I know you guys are always asking for more recipe videos. Today I have lots of emails to get back to. I have to write the newsletter that I'm sending out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So far, so good. And then I get to eat lunch soon. I'm gonna have some of that amazing broccoli salad that Anthony made. All right, so we are making the dumpling soup out of my meal planner. So when my dad makes this soup, takuk, he always adds way too much black pepper. So good. Was it good? Yeah, it was delicious. Yes, we still have room for dessert. Have it to be. These. They're totally vegan and they're delicious. I ran two miles today. I should have went with you.